All right, y'all, what's going on? This is Devin Harris, a.k.a. Tiger4161. And tonight, we are going to do part two of Exoteric versus Esoteric Christianity. The differentiations between the Ten Commandments and... Um, explaining the uh, two two crosses and what the uh, what the what the uh, what the tree of life uh, what it represents what it what it symbolizes okay so let's get started all right so now, let um, last night I explained to you that I explained to you that um, there are there are two different um, religious religious sext r religious sects, right? Basically, you had the exoteric which they basically looked at everything from a um, re religious perspective. And those people that are very religious, they are very traditional and they follow, you know, traditional customs. Okay. Um, and, and they, and they take, they take everything that they're supposed to understand spiritually literal okay um so you know that's why there was um rituals and things like that excuse me there was rituals and things of that nature now the other thing um I want people to know is the esoteric side of things. The esoteric side of things, when it came down, oh, um, okay. So, so you, so you had the Ten Commandments, which was written by the 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 Law of Moses, and basically, the the simple fact that the 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 Ten Commandments came. From God on Mount Sinai, right? So the 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 literal the the little the literal interpretation of the Ten Commandments was uh, you 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 shall not have no other gods uh, before me. Uh, you shall not bear false witness. You shall you shall not lie. You you shall you shall not um, commit adultery. You you uh, you you shall not uh, steal. You you shall not um, yeah. You shall not steal. You shall not uh, cover thy neighbor thy neighbor's wife. So what what you what you have to understand the the literal interpretation is you and the spiritual uh, interpretation of the laws is I the literal interpretation of the law is you the spiritual interpretation of the law is I okay that that's the thing that's the thing we have to understand so um, th those people that basically um, study the uh, co commandments from a esoteric point of view they they would they would uh, come up with with the uh, the spiritual in interpretation and say I I, I have not um, worship no other gods before the one true creator. I, I have not c committed adultery. I 
Um, I have not lied. I have not um, bear fault with bear false witness. I have not created any uh, graven images on earth and above the heavens. Okay. Um, um, be, because though, because as I told you yesterday, those who were esoteric, they were morally conscious. Okay. Um, now, you, now there's one thing that I left out that I did not, uh, mention in, um, exoteric versus esoteric Christianity part one is simply that um, the, 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 the Egyptians had laws and as a matter of fact the, the, the Ten Commandments were derived from the, the 42 negative confessions and ideas uh, yeah, the 42 negative confessions and 72 ideas of ma'at, okay? I, I, I have not sinned. I have not committed adultery. So, so, so when, so when they say I, they, they are, re, re, it's, it's referring to yourself, um, yeah, it's referring to you, but it's more of a self-reflection, you know, because like I said, everyone is born morally conscious. Um, I I have not um, stolen people's property. Um, I I am virtue. I am patient. I am kind. I'm speaking. I'm speaking uh, of the uh, seventy-two ideas of my eye. Uh, I am virtue. I am kind. Um, I am loving. Um, uh, 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 um, I, 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 I am. I am balanced. I am love. Um, uh, um, I, I embrace the all. <laughs> okay. Um, those were. The, the 72 ideas of my eye. And, um, I, oh yeah, I am patient and I, I am kind. So one of the 72 ideas of my eye, they, they were, they were also love, um, laws. You, you, you had to, you had to be kind to everybody. You know what I mean? You, you, you had to love, um, you had to love people infinitely. You know what I mean. It 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 wasn't just a uh, pick and choose thing like they do in relationships now. Um, you you have you had to embrace the all, and when they say all, they literally mean all. That's where the that's where you have the word pan and the 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 origin of the word pan means what all right because the 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 the, the netter rules okay or the or the or the netters the nature spirit the nature spirits they 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 believe that they believe that we 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 sung. They they believe that we were a part of the universe. Uni means one. Verse means song. So we all we all sung this one song that that created everything. Right? Okay. And um, speaking of uh, 
the universe being one song, the the earth has vibrational tones. That's why w when you hear monks, when they meditate, they go, um, see what I mean now so yeah um yeah so um you know my 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 art was uh my art brought about a few things truth My art meant a true um meant a few things truth, justice, uh law, order, balance, prosperity, re reciprocity, etc. And un until you uh, until you understood these things logically, on on only only then could you uh, experience it, you know, spiritually. That that way, you you'll have truth, uh, my eye, justice, my eye, law, my eye. Um. Uh, uh, order, my eye, balance, my eye. Um, love, my eye. Uh, reciprocity, my eye. Okay. Um, so, my art, um, is, is the woman with the scales, okay? And she re represented the, the earth's balance. You had, you had, you had peace and love on one side and destruction and chaos in the other. And when everything was in balance, it meant that everything was in perfect harmony. Okay? Um, but when, when, when there was, when there was, uh, in, imbalance, there was destruction and chaos. Okay? Now, we're going to come to the point of knowing about the cross. Excuse me. Give me a minute here. Oh. I really didn't want to do a video today. But I, I promised the ancestors that I would do a part two. So... I'm doing it. I think I really should take uh, power naps in between eating food. <laughs> oh, man. Especially trying to get conscious again. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah. Back, back to the cross. Okay? The, the, the cross of uh, exoteric uh, Christianity. Um... The one thing we have to uh, under understand and overstand is simply this: that the that the the cross is not an is not an Egyptian symbol, okay? And I and I'm talking about the. Uh, the the cross that the Europeans had, okay, the 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 symbol that looks like uh, two uh, two penises, 
together because the real truth behind that and our brother RFG chosen one will, will tell you that same thing in one of his videos that the that the cross from an exoteric Christian perspective uh, really represented homosexuality you know what I mean and um that <laughs> that's why um you you know you have a such thing as ag agape love in, in Greek which means unconditional okay e even 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 e even though even though the even though the the bible tells you in in in, in Leviticus that man, man should not lie with another man as to so as as a woman shouldn't lie with an, another woman um the, the the bible does support homosexuality okay um it it it, it does you know uh for instance david and jonathan were lovers okay um Jesus um, ministered to those that were eunuchs, and an eunuch is someone um, who who an eunuch is someone that had their um, their uh, genitals removed. Okay, um, so. The so the the cross came out of um, Catholicism. That's why in in Corinthians uh, twelve, where it talks about um, co um, coming to Jesus and con confessing your sins, they're really imitating. Uh, Catholic, the the Catholic religion. So, you know, in the Catholic religion, they they make you they make you go in these uh, prayer rooms and you talk to your rabbi and you tell your rabbi all all the sins you committed, and then he gives you like six six or seven Hail Marys, and he says you are you are forgiven, my my son. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> um, so basically, all, all you, um, all you uh, exoteric, and I have to be honest, esoteric Christians, y'all, y'all are are s subjected to Catholicism. You don't, you don't have to accept that. But it's the truth, okay? <laughs> and we can't ignore it like it's not there. Now, the spiritual meaning behind the cross, uh, re they they represent um, the 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 they represent the crossroads, the the four the four paths of. They they represent the the four uh, pathways to 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 God, uh, okay. Um, yeah, they 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 represent the crossroads, okay. One 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 side leads to heaven, and the the other side uh, le leads to hell. That's why the Bible says, uh, for. For the road to heaven is straight and na narrow, and and the road to destruction is broad and wide. Okay, um, so yeah, um, that's basically it as far as um, uh, the the exoteric um, the exoteric meaning of the, the the cross goes okay and another thing 
Did you know that uh, King James had a Bible called the Queen James Bible? You know what I'm saying? If, if you don't believe me, you can research this for yourself. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can research this for yourself. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I I jumped music in the background. Um, yeah. Type this in for yourself. Uh, the Queen James Bible, and you'll you'll see like a a rainbow cross. Okay, and and inside this book has a bunch of rainbow colored scriptures. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. So. <laughs> Um, that's, uh, that's basically it on the uh, ex from the exoteric point of view. Um, now we're gonna go into the esoteric point of view of the cross, and I'm also be going to um, explain the uh, the the tree of life. Okay. All right, so basically, hold on, let, let me go into my notes here. Let me go into my notes here. Uh, let me go into my notes. <laughs> All right, so uh, basically, when it came down to the the um the esoteric and the uh, Egyptian side of things, their their symbol wasn't a cross um it it was it was what the uh the the european scholars interpreted as an egyptian cross but um from a, from an african spiritual point of view we call it the cross uh the the ankh which 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 represented the um which represented um, life, eternal life, the, the 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 key to life. So it was basically a uh, supernatural gateway. Okay. Um. It 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 it, it was a it was a it was a um the 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 top of the ankh, which is the womb, rep rep. Uh, rep represented the gateway to the the divine mother okay oh no I'm going into my notes and th and then I'm gonna stop cuz I'm like really tired <laughs> um is
I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to find my notes. And, uh, I don't see them. Give me a second, people. Um... Oh my gosh. I got snoring. Trying to find my um I I'm sorry folks. Ho Hold on. I know, I, I know that my notes are in here somewhere. I know. I know I had them in here because I was going to read them to you. Okay, here, here we go. It says, no, there are only 19 scriptures in the Bible that shows... Jesus died on a cross, and there are only 152 scriptures in the Bible that show that Jesus died on a tree. Now, I got this from an, another YouTuber. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave his name anonymous because I don't want people saying that um oh oh you're you're still a christian you're following you you're, you're you're following him no no i no i'm not following him i i'm i'm just um using these references to uh prove my point okay to 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 basically uh give proof in my notes as to why um the the uh the Egyptian cross is um our, 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 our original symbol the the Ankh or the Coptic cross because it's similar to a tree and the there's uh a uh, hundred, as I said, there's a hundred and fifty-two scriptures in in the in the in the Bible um, that prove um, that the that the tree 
is um is our, our original symbol. So what people should be wearing around their necks is not a cross is not a cross. It should be a ankh. Now let me let me give you the scriptures, okay? And now when I when I got this information, I was getting it to prove that Jesus uh, did not die on a cross, okay? Alright. Alright. Uh, ba ba basically, from the New Testament point of view, he he died on a tree and he was black. Okay, but 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 we're we're gonna scratch that off and and I'm gonna just basically prove to you that the uh, that the that the that the onk or or the Coptic or the Coptic cross. Which is nothing but but an imitation of the Ankh. Um, that that is what we should be wearing. Okay, all right. Uh, Acts chapter five, verse thirty through thirty three. Acts ten thirty four through thirty nine. Acts thirteen twenty nine. First Peter two twenty four. Galatians chapter three, thirteenth verse. Do Deut Deuteronomy chapter twenty one, verses twenty two through twenty three. Uh, additional reference. Uh, Ma Matthew five, seven seventeen. Well, 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 actually, you you can ignore that. I I, I think I I know what that one's talking about. Um, but but the, move, moving forward. Um, Genesis chapter 2 verses 9 through 16, Exodus chapter 3 verses 2 through 4, 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 4 and 5, Acts chapter 1, 16, 18, Psalms 1 and 3, Proverbs eleven thirty, Proverbs 13 and 12, Proverbs thirteen twelve, through fit um through chap um yeah through chapter fifteen verse four, Matthew three ten. Matthew seven. Verses verses seventeen and eighteen. Matthew twelve and thirty three. Matthew twenty one. Verses nineteen twenty one, Matthew, Matthew chapter twenty four, verse thirty two, Revelation twenty two and thirteen, okay, and and those are scriptures basically proving that um the 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 ankh it the ankh or from 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 the biblical reference that the that the tree is our is our symbol of life okay um the so an an ankh is what you should be wearing um a, around your neck okay and i'm i'm going to give you some more information on that as well the 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 reason why the scripture um giving reference to hold on hold on please Okay. Now the now the um the scripture giving reference to the the uh the tree of life um from a universal perspective 
um, it is that you you are the the tree of life. Your 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 body is the tree of life. If you feed your body um, poisonous things, you you can you can die. Um, if if you if you feed a a, a tree uh, good things, it lasts for seasons. Now, um, your 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 body contains energy. Now, with with the with the chakras, these. These seven through thirteen chakras represent that you you have a um you you have more than than one type of thought process you know um your your root chakra rep represents your consciousness of survival. Your sacral represents your your uh, intelligence in in sexuality and in um, and in passion as as well as um, learning how to be be creative, but from a mundane level. Um, the 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 um the the solar plexus. Re represents the uh, the 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 pro the the part of you that is pro the the mind that is proactive. The heart chakra rep represents um, the 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 consciousness in you that is uh, very compassionate, very em em empathic. Um, you. You're 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 embracing everything, okay? Um, uh, uh, the the uh the the throat um the 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 throat chakra that would be on the tree of life is is you um you know um expressing your uh co communication um. And 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 be and being able to tap into that part of you um, that knows uh, many many different languages, okay. Uh, your 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 third eye gives you your your third eye, which would be on the tree of life as well. Um, you know that that would give you vision and insight. Okay, this is where all your uh, your your knowledge and wisdom is stored. Okay, um, the the uh, the crown chakra, which is the the uh, the the seventh, which uh, basically gives you uh, under understanding and self realization. Then you got the thirteen chakras. I I don't want to talk about that stuff again. <laughs> But basically, what I'm saying is that you you are your own living onk, and treat it with respect. the the um the the Bible also states um your your uh, your Christian Canoic Bible also states that your 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 body is a a a a, a living a living temple. And if you, and if you treat it, and if you treat every organ of your body uh, with, with with respect, you will live a long life. Okay. So, with that being said, you you are you are the um the the uh the 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 tree of life. You are the um the the living. Um, uh, um, Merkaba that 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 everyone in esoteric knowledge and you know star seed universal knowledge 
um, <laughs> and and new age talks about. You know what I mean? So, um, <laughs> if if if. If, if if you're if you're a Christian, let me let me tell you something. Put 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 a put either a onk or a Coptic cross on your 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 wall. That is, I I just gave you the the scriptures. Okay. All right. <coughs> yeah, you you can ignore. Uh, Matthew 5 and 17 okay because that that's just referring to something that uh, Jesus said um, I think but anyway um, you know put a put a put a Coptic cross on, on your on, on on your door put a put a put a onk around your neck um, also I wanted to uh Mentioned that the the onk is uh, um is also um a, a key to help you um access through the spirit world. So so basically, when you when you die um and you you have an onk around your neck when you're you know when you're dead um it's 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 written that the the onk from a scientific level gives you that uh, um, sub sub subconscious energy to uh, walk 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 through walls. You can um, blend blend in uh, with the trees. You know what I'm saying? You you can yeah, you can be invisible. If you want to, you know what I'm saying, be because like like I, like I said, you you are the living tree of life, and and this is why, um, this is why they they kept the 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 book of Enoch out of the Bible, because because for one, um, it 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 dealt with it dealt with true spiritual truth, okay. And e Enoch also told you that you are more than than just a, a human being. You you are all a part of the. We are all a part of the multi. Uh, yeah, the multi universal consciousness. And um, before I end the video, I want to read something to you all. Okay. Hold on, let me find it. I know I've been talking for uh, an entire hour, man. <laughs> um. Man, I got so many notes in here. I can't find what I'm what I'm supposed to be looking for. Um, I know, I know, I got Angel behind me. <laughs> Hi, Angel. All right. So, um.
Here we go. It says, the, the Ankh is commonly known to mean life in the language of ancient Egypt, where numerous examples have been found that were made from metal, clay, and wood. It is usually worn as an amulet to extend the life of the living and, and placed on the mummy to, to energize the, the resurrected spirit. So, I, I, I just told you that um, when you die and you have an onk placed around your neck, it, it is said that the spiritual significance actually helps you to, um, you know, you can you can come back, and you can uh you can walk through walls, you know what I'm saying? You you can you can uh blend in with the trees. You can do all kinds of things, right? And then it goes on to say, the gods, meaning meaning the 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 immortals, the the higher ones, and the kings are often shown wearing the Ankh to distinguish them from from mere mortals. So what it's basically saying is that um the 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 Ankh was used to show people that 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 hey I that I I I am I am higher than you are you know because I I I have knowledge of self, and because I have knowledge of self, I'm able to uh, reach, access, and maintain immortality. Okay. It says that the Ankh symbolizes eternal life and bestows immortality to anyone who possesses it. An exorcist an exorcist from the book entitled The Ankh African Origin and Electromagnetic uh, Ma Magnetism by Mur Ankh Amen. Okay, Pur purchase that book. You can you can download it uh, for 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 PDF. I I know I know I'm going to download it. Tonight before I go to bed, you know, just, just so I, I have some knowledge about the arm. Okay? So, that that is what I wanted to share with you guys. Alright? I, 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 I explained um, the, 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 the Ten Commandments um, and, and, and like the, the, the spiritual significances. Um... Between the two, I explained, um, you you know, um, the the onk is what it's used for. I explained the cross. All right. So remember, remember what I said, people. If if you if you want to be a true Christian, wear wear an onk, okay, or a, a Coptic cross right there. Be uh, be because through. Through, through there, when when you uh um what um you know if you if you if you treat your body right and you and you wear an onk, you you can you can you can achieve the 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 same God powers that our ancestors ha had when 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 they were on earth trying to reach immortality so um that that's about it you guys i'm a, i'm in this video um and as as a, as as i always say man put put three stars in your heart which is love knowledge and wisdom and love yourself because if you don't love yourself then how in the world are you going to love somebody else i'm i'm devin harris aka tiger4621 like, comment, subscribe.
and share it. Let me know what you thought about um, this video. Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm a little bit drained. I'm out. Peace. <sighs> that was a long lecture.